So how does this study from Dr. Mary Newport help us better understand coconut oil? Well, the research, which is titled Analysis of 26 Studies of the Impact of Coconut Oil on Lipid Parameters Beyond Total and LDL Cholesterol. This study aimed to better understand how coconut oil impacts one's lipid profile. So they reviewed 984 lipid profiles from 26 different studies. And there were really three key findings. The first is that there was significant variability in total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. Now, some individuals experienced increases while others saw no significant changes or even some decreases. And, and that goes against the medical assumption that since coconut oil is high in saturated fat, it must cause an increased LDL cholesterol for everyone. That simply isn't true. But second, there was a consistent increase in HDL cholesterol. And when it comes to cardiac risk, we know that low HDL is an independent risk factor and is often associated with poor metabolic health. But as this study demonstrated, something as simple as taking coconut oil can naturally help increase HDL levels. And the third was that there was a consistent reduction in triglycerides. And since elevated triglycerides are a known risk factor for cardiovascular disease, naturally lowering triglycerides is certainly a worthwhile goal. And since triglycerides decreased and HDL increased, there was a significant improvement in the triglyceride to HDL ratio, a powerful marker of metabolic health and cardiovascular risk. So remember, the traditional stance against coconut oil primarily stems from its saturated fat content, which was believed to raise total cholesterol and LDL and thereby increasing heart disease risk. However, this analysis suggests the lipid profile changes associated with coconut oil are much more nuanced.